We have an exciting show today. Coach Natalie is with us. She's going to show you guys an incredibly simple recipe. And I can't wait for you to get to know Natalie. If you don't know Natalie already, if you haven't listened to her podcast episode, if you happen to be a client of Natalie's or you're working in her small group, you're working privately, let us know in the chat box. But Natalie, it's great to see you. Great to have you with us. Oh my gosh. Always happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. I always love it when you're in the kitchen because we all learn so much from you and your knowledge in the kitchen. So um, one thing I do want to announce before we get into the show here with Natalie is the Mastering Diabetes the Summit, the, the 2022 Blood Sugar Revolution Summit is actually happening right now, okay? So if you don't want to miss that and you want to be participating as it goes on for the next seven days, you must register. So our producer will put a link in the, in the chat box for you to be able to register for this event. And you do not want to miss it, okay? And if you register, you will get emails inviting you to join us for a live webinar tonight. Cyrus and I will both be there. And then there will be a live webinar for everybody who purchases the transformation package every single night. And on these webinars, we're going to pick up the phone. We're going to call some people. We're going to answer questions. It's going to be a total like live Q and a, like, like a free skate. Okay. Like we're just going to talk about whatever you want to talk about. And they're going to be very personalized because again, uh, after tonight, it's people who will invited are people who've purchased the transformation packer. So if you want to get invited, you got to do that. But step one is to just register. All right. That's, that's step one. Okay. Now we'll talk about that more later on. If you have any questions, let me know, but back to the main show, Natalie, it's so good to have you with us. I would love for you to introduce yourself, share a little bit about your experience, your education, how you came to be a coach at mastering diabetes. And then uh, we'll take it from there. Absolutely. Um, well, I am a registered dietitian, um, but it's not my first path in life. Um, I, I call myself a recovering biochemist. Uh, so I got my first degree in biochemistry, um, and I worked doing um, research in San Francisco when I discovered plant-based eating. And for me, it was really, I was looking for a way to reduce my chronic disease risk because cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease all run in my family. And so... For me, I was like, even from a young age, I was in my early 20s, I was uh, very focused on prevention. And so that's what brought me to plant-based eating. Um, and when I started getting into it, I got really passionate about it. I loved the way I felt, um, both like mentally, but also physically. Um, and I really wanted to share with people. So I decided to go back and get a degree um, in nutrition from Colorado State University. And then I did my clinical training um, at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston to become a dietitian. Um, most of my career so far has been in clinical nutrition. Um, and so I've seen a little bit of everything throughout my jobs, both in Boston and then at a, at a rural hospital um, where I had my first position when I moved to Maine. Um, but I've been with Mastering Diabetes for about a year and a half. And for me, it's been kind of a, a dream come true because plant-based nutrition is why I went back to school. Um, and so being able to put my love of, of you know eating plants with my clinical experience has been like, the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, we feel the same way. It's like the best to have you on our team. And I know the clients feel the same way. And your experience working in clinical nutrition, like you said, you've seen a little bit of everything. And uh -huh. that's been one of the, you know, I think greatest assets, I think one of the greatest assets you've brought to our team is just a lot of experience in some of the random things, unique things. And that's what happens. Like when people come and join the coaching program, majority of people living with almost any form of diabetes Mm -hmm. there's something else as well. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people listening, you know, they might put themselves in a category of feeling like, you know what, like I'm a little different, you know, there's something might not be working for me because I have X, Y, and Z. Like, have you helped somebody with that? And in most cases like, we actually have. So mm -hmm. um, if you feel you're unique and you're a little different, write a you, just put a you in the chat box. Okay. If you think that there's always something that's just a little bit different and you don't, you don't get the same results everybody else gets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and that's part of the passion of why we have a coaching program. That's, that's our, you know, our really pride and joy here. And you as a, as one of the leaders of the team, like you enjoy the challenge, right? It's like, you know, <laughs> right? yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's nice to like, I think sometimes professionally when you specialize in one area, um, you know, you think that that's the only issue you'll deal with, but it's not. And I think being able to help people with all of the complex challenges that they're facing, 
um, and all of the different facets that, that go into having optimal health is really what, what makes, um, you know, working with people in this way so rewarding. Um, because it's not a one size fits all approach. It never is. It's always individualized depending on, on your need. Yeah. hundred percent. Okay. So, uh, I, I love the comments coming in doing the diet has brought my blood sugar numbers down to normal range. That's fantastic. High carb Beth. Glad to have you with us. Love to see you guys participating in the comments. We read all of them. We will be answering questions towards the end. So if you want to put a question in the comment section, we will flag it and we'll answer questions at the end. But Natalie's here with us to show uh, a super simple recipe. So what are you going to make today? So I'm going to make a three bean salad. Um, this is actually a recipe that my mom used to make when I was a kid before I even thought about the word plant-based. Um, and she always made this because it was the fastest thing you can make. And it was something that she always had the stuff for in the pantry. And I would say that even as a young kid, this is the first thing that I used to make for myself um, when I was dabbling into like cooking for myself as a child. So this like really has like special place in my heart. <laughs> um, and what I like about this recipe is that it's really, really versatile. So it's one base recipe, but you can apply it in a bunch of different settings, depending on what you're hankering for, what ingredients you have. Um, but at its core, you can put it together in probably under a minute. That's what I'm talking about. That's what Simple Meals is all about. So you're going to do it for us today. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are we ready to go? Let's go. Okay. So one thing I will say is, so I'm, I'm using canned stuff in this, um, in this recipe. And the reason why I'm using canned stuff is because one of the things that I find people struggle with the most when they're making a lifestyle change is what happens when I didn't get to the grocery store <laughs> um, or I didn't have time to pr prepare stuff. Um, now, I usually cook my beans in an Instant Pot. Um, but I like showing how you can use canned foods because if, if I didn't get to the store, or I didn't cook my beans in an instant pot. I, if I always have something in my cupboards that I can make a quick meal with, I'm way more likely to be successful Yes, because I'm never caught in a lurch without ingredients. So this is entirely using canned ingredients, um, that are shelf stable that you can keep stocked in your pantry at all times. So, um, for this, the first thing I'm going to do is I have, um, black beans. Um, I always recommend getting low sodium or no salt added. Um, as much as possible. So all I did was I opened this up and I gave it a quick rinse just so you guys aren't looking at my sink. <laughs> uh, and all I have to do is I've got my bowl here. Just going to dump it in. Easy. We're, we're off to a very simple start, Natalie. I love okay. the fact of using canned products. It's, it's, it's like, it's, I, I love to say this, like people are not developing type two diabetes because they're eating canned beans. Nope. Okay? Not, like, it's not the problem. It, it's the solution. So anyways, continue. Yeah. Next I have cannellini beans. So this is a different type of bean. This is a great one to have in your um, pantry anyway, just because it's really good in a lot of different recipes. So I always have these stocked. All right. So that's going in. Part two. You guys, we're, we're like almost halfway done. Amazing. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> all right. Next up, I have pinto beans. Um, all right. We're just putting that right in there. And the last thing I have is, um, is corn. Now, one thing with corn is sometimes they can add sweeteners or lots and lots of salt. So this is just basic corn, no salt added, no sugar added, um, just corn. And because I love corn, I'm actually going to add two cans of it. Perfect. And what is great about this particular dish is that the corn adds a lot of sweetness. So on its own, it doesn't really need a ton of seasoning um, just because the corn is so sweet. Um, the other thing I like about it, especially when you can mix up the beans, is like from a, um, a gut microbiome standpoint, you're getting multiple types of fibers. And so that can really, really help with um, creating really good gut health. Yes. Um, so honestly, this is it. This is what my mom is doing. <laughs> I mean, I want to show you guys how you can kick this up a notch and use it into other meals. Yeah. Okay. Show us. And how many meals would this, would this make for you? Great. So this would probably be, I mean, it depends on if I'm adding it to other stuff. If I'm just yeah. eating this, and honestly, you could just eat it like this. This could be four. So Great. I took like a minute and I have four different meals. Mm -hmm. um, and this is about 9% of calories from fat. It's about 20 grams of protein per serving um, and a little under 400 calories. So right. for me, it wouldn't quite be enough calories. Um, so I'd want to add other stuff to it or make it more meals. But yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's good okay. this. So... Now, honestly, even as a kid, even as a non-plant-based kid, I was perfectly fine with this flavor. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> because, I mean, who doesn't like corn? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anybody could eat this. Yeah. Um, I do season this sometimes when I make it. Um, just, But I like to keep it basic so that I can change um, 
when I'm, you know, change the flavor of it if I have a hankering for something, if I'm using it. So what I'm going to add to this, this is like, this, this is step one. What I'm going to do is step two. This is I'm going to add a couple seasonings. So it's just a little bit of onion powder. Beautiful. Right? We're just kicking it up a notch. A little garlic powder. Nice. All right. And then I'm going to add some lime juice. And for people who are um, maybe new to low salt eating, low salt right. eating, um, adding citrus juice is a great way to add that salty tang without oh. adding sodium because the so acid is Huge tip. Yeah. So I'm going to add just a little bit of lime juice. This is kind of a dry one. Mm -hmm. um, and mix it up. And now we've got a little bit more flavor to work with. Mm -hmm. um, however, there's a lot of other ways you can incorporate this. So this is definitely going to become my lunch. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way that I'm going to eat this is I'm going to, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to turn it into more of a salad. Um, so you can do this. You know, I just take like... One thing of romaine lettuce, you, if you got a tub of spinach, you can just do spinach. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can see that. I love how easy and simple you're making this. Like you just took the head and you just started cutting it. Like you bought, you must have bought a version that maybe came pre-cleaned or something like that. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, it's, it's some of those little things that for me make it more likely that I'm going to eat this. Like if, yeah. I to, if I had to wash the lettuce and I had to go put it in a salad spinner, I'm a lot less likely to eat it on a daily basis, but buying pre-washed for me, is like a recipe for me to, <laughs> to really be, you know, to really want to actually do it, especially if I'm busy. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So I'm going to take a bell pepper as well. And I'm just going to add a bell pepper in there. You have, to, you have some great cutting skills, Natalie. <laughs> I try. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I try. You're protecting those fingers. That's huge. You got to, especially if you're going to move fast. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is great. So again, adding more color, um, adding some vitamin C as well. So bell peppers are a really great source of vitamin C. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, and this can help me absorb um, any plant-based sources of iron that are in the greens or the beans, um, just to make sure that I'm getting the most out of my food. So if I can, I love adding bell peppers to things. Yeah. So Donna asked a great question, which I want to answer. She says, like a whole romaine wash. I've never seen that. And correct me if I'm wrong, Natalie. Mm -hmm. But it came in a bag and there were three of them. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, hey, Donna, I'm not sure exactly how they end up cleaning those inner leaves. I'm just not sure. But uh, they they are very clean. Like you just like they're you like even if you took like you took the three heads out, then you started breaking up each leaf and like looking at it, you'd be like, wow, it's perfectly clean. So oh, great just, question. I, I saved one to show you guys. Yeah. We'll see there you there. go. It's just perfectly clean. I, I don't know how they do it, but they do. And it's very convenient. And mm -hmm. I've done the same thing, Natalie. Yeah. So this would be like a full meal. And even though this is maybe a little more complicated, a little bit more chopping, it still took me, you know, under three minutes to put this whole thing together. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? I mean, it's just sensational. <laughs> okay. Natalie, can you talk to us a little bit about how these particular ingredients you put in this meal, like the beans in particular, mm -hmm. um, help people who are, who are transitioning from a very insulin resistant state to on their way to becoming more insulin sensitive? Oh, absolutely. So um, beans are one of the best thing you can do for blood sugar. There's a few reasons for that. Um, one of them is that it, yes, it is a source of carbohydrate. And sometimes we get a little nervous to have things that are high in carbohydrate, but it's also really high in protein and fiber, both of which slow down the absorption of those carbohydrates into your bloodstream and will really smooth out a spike that you're gonna have. So it really can help prevent a lot of the blood sugar variability that you might be worried about if you're, if you're transitioning to a high carb lifestyle. The other thing, and I, and I think this has a little bit more to do with the really beneficial fiber for your gut, is that there's something called the second meal effect with beans, where when you have a meal with beans, it can actually improve your blood sugar response at the next meal. Um, so not only is it helpful in this first meal, but in your next meal that you have as well. It's powerful, absolutely powerful. And I just want to highlight that um, people coming into our program, we're, we're, we pay attention to all the little details. Like there, there are a lot of different nuances that could impact somebody who might be struggling during their transition. And if you choose to work with a coach, you choose to be a part of our program, you're going to like basically be tapping into this incredible amount of knowledge that you and the team have had in working with thousands of clients mm -hmm. to make sure that your experience is optimized. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like every single one of our team members has seen so many people's journey coming into this program that we have seen all the hiccups and we have learned all the tricks. <laughs> okay. So, you know, you're definitely in good hands with any of us because 
just because we've seen, we've walked people through this process so much. No question. Absolutely. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Is there anything else you want to say about the recipe? Oh, yes, absolutely. So one thing that I get to hear from a lot of clients is, is everything we eat have to be cold? <laughs> and no, absolutely not. So this is a really great recipe to actually eat in a hot way. And there's a couple ways you can do that. But my favorite for this one is I'll just put some of these, the beans and corn in a bowl um, with, if I have fresh broccoli, maybe I'll do fresh broccoli or other greens or even frozen broccoli can be great. I'll put a little bit of veggie broth on it and then a little bit of low sodium salsa on top. Um, and I'll just put it in the microwave and it turns into a really great like Southwestern soup. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you can get that whole thing done in five minutes. And it's meals like these that you can dress up in a lot of different ways. I could have it as a salad. I could take a lettuce leaf like this. I could even heat these up and then have this like a taco. Mm -hmm. This is another one of my favorite ways to eat this. Maybe put some hot sauce on it. Yeah. Um, but if you have meals that you have the ingredients for at all time, no matter what, that come together, no matter how busy you are, you are going to be a lot more likely to be successful because the time and effort that is going to be required to put a meal together, it goes down. Also, this is an incredibly cost-effective recipe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's a beautiful go-to meal, something people could rely on. So um, somebody was asking about the servings and you'd already mentioned that this would be like four meals for you. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's amazing. And talk to us a little bit about how you help your clients measure the carbohydrate content of a recipe when they make, you know, a, you know, you just made four servings. Like how, how would they navigate that? Absolutely. Um, so one way that you can do it is with a food scale. I think food scales can be a little bit intimidating, but honestly, I find them a lot easier to use than whipping out a measuring cup. <laughs> um, and that's just because you can have your bowl on your food scale, you know, you put your food in, you know, you, after you zeroed it, and then with every ingredient, you can zero it again and just put it into something like Chronometer or my Fitness Pal, and that can give you a really accurate carb count. Now with a meal like this, and this is another reason why, especially for folks who are really needing an accurate carb count, maybe for dosing insulin, um, is that it has the information on the can. I know exactly how many cans are going in there. I can just add up all of the, the carbohydrate. And then if I know I want this to be four, I can just divide it by four. And one of my favorite things that I recommend people do if they're doing meal prepping is to figure out the carbohydrate for the whole entire thing split it into the number of servings, put them in a Tupperware, put a post-it note on it that has the carb count so that they don't have to do any carb counting for the yeah. rest of me. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful feeling when you can just go into your freezer, go into your fridge, have a meal that's already prepared. You mm -hmm. know you love it. It's a go-to meal. You've had it before. You, you absolutely know your taste buds like it. Mm -hmm. And you already have the carbohydrate count figured out. It's just the most graceful experience. Especially if you're going to work and you're trying to figure it out in the heat of the moment. If you already have your meals ready, you already know the carb count. If you're having to inject insulin at that point, it just makes the whole experience a lot smoother than you can get back to eating or focusing on any tasks that you have. Yeah, no question. No question. Anything else you want to share about this recipe? Um, let's see. Um, I would say that the sky is the limit with this one. You can add any kind of veggies. You can dress it up. You could make this a really big fancy dish if you wanted to. You could bake it into a casserole. But what I like about recipes like this is just the ability to scale. And one thing that I, I recommend for a lot of people is to have stripped down versions of any recipes that they really like, that they can always accomplish in a short amount of time. And then if they have more time, they can make them more complicated. Yeah, yeah. You know? Idea. Yeah, that's love. That's like different levels of any given recipe that, you know, you, like based on your availability. That's fantastic. I love that. It's great. Okay. Now, one thing I would love for you to share is I know you work with private clients and mm -hmm. then you also, you have group classes that you teach. Absolutely. Um, some classes are for people living with, you know, insulin dependent diabetes. Mm -hmm. Some classes are for people who are, you know, these groups, they, they don't use insulin or maybe they only use long acting insulin. Then I think you also have um, like this weight loss group. There's stuff like that. We, we have all these different nuances. So if you want to learn about that, you can just go to masteringdiabetes.org slash start. But I'd love to have you share maybe one or two stories of some of your favorite clients and their success. Oh, totally. Um, so I had a, a client recently um, who was with me for our six week challenge. Um, and he had started, I think, with his A1C. Um, it was above, I think it was like 6.9. Um, and then and he, took, he took it right before he started the six week challenge. And then he did it at the end of the six week challenge. And it was 5.6, which I think is absolutely amazing because if he took his A1C six weeks apart, it doesn't actually reflect the full change in his blood sugar because your A1C is an average. And so the fact that he was able to gain that much sensitivity in that short of time for me was mind blowing. That's crazy. 
that's, <laughs> that's incredible. Wow. Yeah, okay. that was recent. It was great. I mean, just six weeks. Six weeks. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, the power of just getting st just getting started, getting a little kick in the butt, like joining the community, yeah. having a coach, like it's incredible. Absolutely. Yeah, he was one of my private clients, and amazing job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Somebody says, can you please explain the second meal effect again? Maybe just elaborate on what's happening there. Sure. Sure. So they've done studies that when people eat um, beans at a meal, not only does it blunt the blood sugar spike at that meal, but it can also improve your glucose response at the subsequent meal and that the next meal that you eat. Um, I'm not sure that the mechanism for why that happens is fully known, but my guess is that it has something to do with the gut microbiome. And that's mm -hmm. because the, the, um, the relationship between the food that we eat and our gut has a profound impact on our ability to absorb and metabolize the food that we eat, um, especially when it comes to glucose. Um, and so uh, beans are one of the foods, I think more than anything else, because of the fiber content and the, and the complexity of the fiber um, is like just rocket fuel for your gut microbiota. <laughs> and so it's my personal feeling that that might be a big part of why we see that effect. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. And that actually leads me into uh, the next important topic here, which is the fact that during our summit, which you, I highly recommend you join right now, like the producer, Beth, I mean, I'm sure she can put a link in the chat box, but like we had amazing conversations with three per gut experts, like the world's leading gut experts. We had Dr. Bolskowitz, Robin Chuckin, and Alan Desmond, Dr. Alan Desmond. Um, uh, so Dr. Robin Chuckin, Dr. Will Bolskowitz, and Dr. Alan Desmond. All right. So amazing group. All this information is free. Joining the summit is free, but you got to join now so you don't miss the free part, okay? If you want to own everything for life, you could purchase the transformation package. That's totally your choice. And then you get to join us on a bunch of webinars. But I highly recommend you join. You don't want to miss this. It's a once a year event. This is our sixth annual summit that we've put together. It's our best one yet. It's going to be an incredible experience. So please join. And uh, that's all we got for today. So Natalie, I want to thank you so much for joining us. This is, this is a very simple recipe. That's what the show's about. Very effective, excellent recipe to lower. Um, as you, I mean, look, during the six week challenge, there's one particular recipe in the challenge that's similar to the one that you made today that people are loving and has a profound impact. So I'm glad you brought this information to us. Absolutely. Always happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, uh, join the summit. If you want to work with Natalie, masteringdiabetes.org slash start. And I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. I believe we have Coach Andrea joining us next week. So it's going to be fun. I'll see you here. Thanks again, Natalie.